My name is Joe Luzzi, and I'm here with my mom, Yolanda Luzzi, and we're here to talk about, well, we're here to just talk, but we're also here to sort of talk about how my mom's experiences and my experiences growing up with her inspired me to write the book called My Two Italy's, which is a combination of a memoir of my life with people like my mom, but also a story of their experiences coming from Italy to the United States and making a life here and applying my perspective as someone who went on to study Italian culture, language and literature and get a PhD in Italian studies and to really become a student of the culture that they had left behind and using that perspective to understand what's happening in Italy today, especially during the turbulent years under Silvio Berlusconi. So it's a little bit of a backdrop to the book, but I think the real uh, engine for the book was what happened in this house with my mom and so I always wondered growing up and maybe you can answer this ma uh, why did you come to America perché siete venuti qui negli Stati Uniti my mom's going to respond in her dialect her Calabrian dialect and um, I'll translate as we go along sono venuto qua per cambiare che buon per c'era la partita they came here to live better for, for a better life. Yeah. There was work here. Yeah, over there, no work. No work over there. No yeah. translation needed on that one. What year did you come? 55. 55, okay. You came first, right? Yeah. How come? Because I was a citizen. I was a citizen. Okay. And I came across to eight months before your father came here with, uh, with the kids. So my mom came eight months earlier and she had already had four children at the time. Besides your family, what did you miss about Italy? I don't miss Why? No. How come? I was part of no. My husband missed me, but me no. So... He missed, you know why? Because over there, my husband, you know, do too much work like over here. Over here, do too much work. That's why he missed over there. So my mom basically said, as you heard, that she didn't really miss Italy that much, but... I miss my mother, uh, my, uh, my father. That's all. I no got no sister, no got no brother no over there. Yeah. What I want to miss. But my dad really did miss Italy. Uh, in fact, when I was writing the book, one of the things that really struck me, I have memories of my dad just working all the time. He worked, um, he worked, a lot. He worked in a factory. He was a machinist. And he would get up around 3.30 in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. to go to work um, for the early morning shift and then he would landscape after that so he would work sometimes 12, 13, 14 hour days um, so I just remember him working until he had a stroke when I was in 10th grade and then after that that was a very difficult period for him because he had lost use of his his body which had served him his whole life to work um, but my mom said something once that really struck me she said you know, your father was more carefree. Uh, papa stava più, più contento in Italia, no? Yeah, no, e poi dopo stava contento pure, ma l'Italia stava più contento, yeah, perché si vuole tutto molto, yeah. He was more carefree and happy, contento, happy and, and contented in, in Italy, which really struck me because that's not a word I would use to describe him growing up. Um, and so he had another life in Italy. 